Hello, my name is Konstantin Pakulev, and I'm a PhD student at Skoltek. I would like to present you our work called NSST, detecting good and stable key points with a neural stability score and a sheet MIC detector. The work was done under supervision of a slam core researcher Alexander Ohitov and a professor of Skoltek Gonzalo Ferrer. In our work, we address the problem of feature detection, also called key point detection which is the first step in pipelines that are based on sparse local features. The usual sparse local features pipeline includes detecting points of interest on images and supplying them with descriptors. Then, features are matched by their descriptors and correspondences are obtained. Subsequent utilization of correspondences depends on an application, for example, structure from motion or slam. The motivation for our work stems from recent results that indicate that gains in classical metrics, such as repeatability and matching score, do not always translate to gains in downstream performance. Additionally, it was shown that classical key point detectors can demonstrate state-of-the-art results when they are equipped with modern descriptors and are properly tuned. Building on these two observations in our work, we design a metric that looks for key points that are good from the standpoint of downstream tasks, which we call the stability score, which is the first contribution of our work. Utilizing this metric, we build a learned self-supervised key point detector, NES-ST, that relies on a classical approach, the Shitamasi detector. This is the second contribution of our work. The designed metric, the stability score, looks for key points that can be localized with extreme accuracy. To quantitatively assess this property, we employ the following procedure. Given a key point, we take an image patch of a certain size around it and warp it by generated homographies. Then, we consider a small neighborhood around the key point on a warped patch and run the Shitamasi detector on it. This gives us the location of the extremum that we warp back to the image coordinates. Accumulating warped locations, we calculate the sample covariance from which we extract the largest eigenvalue, that is, the stability score. Intuitively, the stability score assesses the maximum possible deviation of a key point from its initial location under viewpoint transformations. The stability score analyzes only shapes of responses without regarding their silence or repeatability. Hence, image artifacts in low-textured areas can have an ideal stability score. To overcome this problem, we introduce learning to our solution. In particular, unreliable responses can be filtered by the Shitamasi detector by assuming a threshold. Then we train a neural network to predict the stability score for good key points that are more likely to correspond to meaningful patterns. We call the learned output of the neural network the neural stability score. Since the stability score can be calculated efficiently, we generate ground truth online during the training on the same GPU that we trained the model on. Hence, our method can be trained from arbitrary sets of images without any prior preprocessing. Results of the ablation confirm the superior performance of the learned approach compared to the algorithmic. We call the combination of the Shitamasi detector and the neural stability score regressor NES-ST. The method takes an image and uses the Shitamasi detector to detect locations of extrema. Simultaneously, it uses the neural network to regress the neural stability score. Finally, key points detected by the Shitamasi detector are selected using the neural stability score. We perform exhaustive evaluation on downstream tasks, including fundamental and essential matrix estimation. Our method shows state-of-the-art results, scoring first on the mega-depth dataset and taking the second place on ScanNet. To conclude, our research indicates that classical key point detectors are still competitive and, thus, can be used as a source of ground truth for learned detectors. The presented method, NES-ST, shows state-of-the-art results, good generalization over datasets with different semantics and variety of downstream tasks. The method can be trained with self-supervision from arbitrary sets of images without any prior preprocessing. For more information, please visit our GitHub page. This is all. Thank you for your attention.